calculate the exact value of 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i to the power 12. Okay, you want the exact value, it's not an approximation. Okay, so here, let's write the question. So this is 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 i to the power 12. So this can be as a denominator the same. I can write the next step as 1 plus i over root 2 to the power 12. So now you can distribute the uh, 12, the power of 12, both to both to the numerator and denominator, so which can be written as 1 over root 2 to the power 12 times 1 plus i to the power 12. Okay, now this is, okay, I'll do the next step like this. This is nothing but 1 over root 2 times squared the whole to the power 6 because it's power of power you have to multiply times 1 plus i to the power 12. Okay, so this is now 1 over root 2 squared is nothing but half. So this is half to the power 6 times 1 plus i to the power 12. So this is nothing but 1 over 64 times 1 plus i to the power 12. Now you can expand this, of course, using binomial and get the answer. But there is a neat uh, theorem called Dimboav's De theorem. Uh, if you are an NCA student, you should be having this in your formula sheet. The Dimboav's theorem states like this. If n is an integer, then r cis theta to the power n is r to the power n cis n theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this this complex number in polar form. Hopefully you know what is a polar form. So even if you don't know, I'll try to explain. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into a polar form. So this is say your two axes. Say this is your real arm, which is your real number axis, and this is your imaginary axis. Now one plus i is a number suppose uh, let me draw i think uh, first i'll draw this and then explain how what's so but this complex any complex number is in a plane any number any complex number is in a plane say this is your let me drop let me drop a uh, this is the horizontal say you know you should be doing a little of physics so but this is the horizontal so this is your this is your vertical and this is your horizontal component so say this is one on the real arm and this is your eye on the real arm okay so this this point or this point is called one plus i okay now this is uh, you are imagining not the xy plane this is also called the z plane so this is your your complex plane or argon plane is perpendicular to the x y plane so i'm not going into that detail hopefully you understand that i can't show this is in a 3d way so imagine a plane which is perp is running perpendicular to this x y plane and there's a point here which is one plus i where one corresponds to the real arm and i corresponds to the uh, uh, imaginary arm okay so here yeah, to write in a cis form the same thing can be written as you have to find this so we know this is one this is one or uh, the magnitude the distance from year to year is one and the distance from year to year is also one so i hope you understand this will be square root of two using Pythagoras. okay now using simple uh, knowledge of triangle this is an, a right angle isosceles triangle so i can say these two sides are these two sides are equal so i hope you understand this should be 45 degree which is in in radians you write this is pi by 4 so the same point writing in polar form is root 2 cis pi by 4 i'm not going into the trig of this so basically what you're saying is this point is at a radial distance of root 2 and if you go, go anti-clockwise you have to turn 
45 degree. So in other words, if you want to direct a person to this point 1 plus r, you are going to tell them from the origin, this is your origin, you walk a distance of root 2 at a angle or a radial or at an angle of pi by 4. Turn pi by 4 degrees anticlockwise and then you then you walk root 2 distance. I hope you understand that. So this and this are the same. So I'm going to write this next step like this. So let me bring back my blue pen. So this is 1 over 64 times 1 plus i as a polar form is root 2. Now again you may be confused. Cis stands for cos. Okay, so this is this is your uh, your horizontal is your cos and your vertical is sine. So let me just explain. Cis means cis pi by four. Cis pi by four means this is cos cos pi by four. Okay, or root two pi by four plus i sine pi by four. This is what it means. Okay, so you can write the if you write the root two outside. So this, this is I'm getting very untidy. I don't like this untidy work. So root two cis pi by four in an algebraic way means this is root two. C stands for cos pi by four plus i sine pi by four. So now if you expand this, you'll get this back. Okay, I'm not going into that detail. So this is root 2 cis pi by 4. Root 2 cis pi by 4. Okay. Now we have to use the Dimwav's rule. What does Dimwav's rule say? If it is r cis theta to the power n, uh, then it is r to the power n cis n theta. So here you have got this 12 there. So we, are, we have to accept this. This is to apply this rule. The next step, let me go slightly up so that you can see the rule. So compare this rule with this. So you got 1 over 64 sitting there. You don't apply the rule there. You're applying the rule here. So this becomes root 2 to the power 12 because r to the power n and cis cis uh, cis n n theta your theta is pi by 4 so your n is 12 so it is 12 pi by 4 okay now we already know that root 2 to the power 12 is 64 so this is 1 over 64 times 64 times this 3 pi so this is nothing but 1 cis pi. Now let us understand what does this mean. So when you're saying 1 cis 3 pi means you're saying the radius or the radial distance, I'll say radius, you go a radial distance of 1 and you have to turn how many degrees? Turn 3 pi. Now you should know 2 pi is 360 degrees. So let me delete this so that you understand. So when you're saying 1 cis 3 pi by 2 means you start here, okay, and you first turn 3 pi. So what does it mean? So this is your pi turn, okay, this is your pi, this is, okay, let me delete this. So 3 pi, if you turn 3 pi from here, so this is your turn of 2 pi, and then you turn, this is 3 pi. From here, from the positive arm, you are turning. This is this is a term of this is a turn of two pi, and then again you turn pi. So this whole turn, this is a turn of pi. So the whole turn is three pi, and you have to go one distance away. That means where will you reach? You'll reach nothing uh, at negative one. Okay. So this distance, you have to go a distance of negative one means you're going to the left of the origin. The positive distance is to the right. So as you have reached here on the negative arm of the x-axis, the answer of this is nothing but negative 1. Okay, and that's the amazing thing about understanding maths, that negative 1 means, this means you are at negative 1 on the x-axis because you're turning 
3 pi.